you're finally seeing that in the spring. At this point, no surprise with the third quarter winding down the defensive line with all that depth starting to wear down a thin University of Miami offensive line, which is playing without a couple of possible starters, Orlando Franklin and Joel Figueroa, both out with injuries this afternoon. And Jeff Stallen told me yesterday he's going to find the five best offensive linemen regardless of position. He's going to get those five guys on the field, even if they have to move guys from guard to tackle. You see Orlando Franklin was bumped over from guard to left tackle to fill in for Jason Fox who's departed for the draft. But he's going to use these guys any way he can. He's going to get the five best guys on the field. And uh, not only do Jeff Statlin and Randy Shannon speak about some possible position changes, tackles to guards and vice versa, but They'll also look forward to some very talented incoming true freshmen. Brandon Linder, a U.S. Army All-American, headlining a group. A freshman set to arrive in the summer, and uh, it's not impossible that a first-year hurricane play along the offensive line, as you can attest, KC. It's tough, though. It's tough, especially nowadays, with how big guys are. And it's, I think it's a bigger transition coming out of high school now just because of that. The, the sheer size of these players. I was, I was looking at these guys yesterday, and I was 6'1", 260 at my, at my heaviest, at my biggest at University of Miami, and was able to play at that, at that level, at, at that weight. But now, I see these guys, the smallest offensive line they got, linemen they have on the field, 6'3", 280. Yeah, the starting tight end is 6'4", 270. <laughs> <laughs> it's a different game. Inside, a different uh, game. inside the final minute, here in our third quarter as Damian Berry between the tackles for a gain of three yards. Berry, who enjoyed a wonderful spring game last year, burst onto the scene and would be seen again plenty throughout the 2009 season. But Connor Regis, number 54, one of those guys on the defensive line, a junior out of Pahokee. Hurricanes do lose a veteran, Joe Joseph, who made 10 starts, a senior who moved on from the program. That brings our third quarter to a close with Damian Berry taking the handoff. 48-41. One period to play in our annual spring scrimmage here in Miami. A blast from the past with Fireworks and highlights on the offense for the University of Miami. All types of scoring. Travis Benjamin contributing with two touchdowns on the day. Same for Leonard Hankerson, including that beautiful toss by A.J. Highsmith. Fourth quarter now underway. Spencer Whipple whips that one complete at the 40-yard line to a very active Kendall Tompkins. Kendall Tompkins, another Northwestern Bowl. He's going to be uh, in the rotation at that uh, at that Z position on the field. I'll tell you what, a stable, another stable wide receivers to throw to for uh, for Jacory Harris this year. Brandon McGee providing the defense, and the officials obviously looking forward to their postgame activities, letting that one go by as the Hurricanes come in with the no huddle offense here. And Randy Shannon has some words for. Brandon McGee didn't seem like there was much of an opportunity for a reception on that play. Shannon may be talking to McGee being a little bit over aggressive. Randy Shannon set to embark on year number four as head coach. Again, a quarter century involvement with the University of Miami going back to his playing career. Damian Berry looking to break it to the outside and picks up a few yards before being shoved out of bounds. McGee again involved in the secondary. A secondary which loses the likes of Randy Phillips, Chavez Grant as well. Brandon Harris not suited up today, nursing a hamstring injury, an all-ACC first-team cornerback. Also penciled in as a starting cornerback to Marcus Van Dyke, coming back as a senior. The safeties projected as Von Telemach and Ray Ray Armstrong, who again is being pushed by Jamal Reed. JoJo Nicholas, Jared Campbell will provide depth at the safety position in 2010. Third down and seven from the 37. 
Whipple in the shotgun. The lefty tosses complete and good for a first down. And slow to get up. The receiver on the play it looks like Kendall Tompkins back on his feet. Another star studded line of former Hurricanes on the sideline with our Allison Williams. Allison. Guys here with Willis McGahee, and it's funny because a lot of the former players, you know, they're off on the sidelines, maybe down by the end zone, but you've been hanging out with all the young guys this entire time. Has it been fun for you to be back around some of the young guys? Oh, you know, basically I know all these guys, so, you know, I'm still a kid. I ain't number, you know, 20-something, so, you know, I, I try to hang around everybody and be with everybody. Are they picking your brain a little bit, trying to get some advice? Oh, we talk about unnecessary stuff. We just around here shooting the breeze, that's all. One of the running backs, Mike James, just scores. He's been a big name this spring, as well as Storm Johnson. Was that Damian Barry? Okay, excuse me. Damian Barry as well, though. And, I mean, just goes to show how much talent they have at that running back position. Talk a little bit about what you've seen here today that you've liked from these guys. Oh, uh, you know, well, we got a great group of backs. And, you know, it's always been like that. At one point, it was called a running back you. I mean, it was called a quarterback you, and now it's called a running back you. So, hopefully, they can keep the addition going of it by being a running back you. And, you know, those guys, it's, it's a lot of them. So, you know, you can't go wrong with either one of them because all of them great. They all do different things at different times. So, you know, Coach Shannon got a job that he's going to have to figure out who's going to be the starter or not. Lamar Miller is one of the tailbacks that's also running track. That's something you did while you were at the University of Miami. How much did it benefit you on the field also running track? Uh, you know, it just helped you stay in shape and just your explosiveness and just start to work your little uh, fast muscles, things you don't work in really in football. Nobody has fond memories of that Ohio State-Miami game, but you especially it was the game you got hurt, blew out your knee. What's it going to be like for you then to watch that game this fall when Miami goes up to Columbus? Nothing. Nothing? Nothing at all. You don't think it'll stir up any emotion? No. no. No revenge on your mind at all? No. All right, Willis, thanks so much for your time. No Guys. <laughs> Allison and Willis McGahee, you know, one of the guys that I'm sure would love to seek counsel from Willis McGahee is the Hurricanes senior running back Greg Cooper, who himself suffered a devastating knee injury, as McGahee did in that national championship game against Ohio State. Greg Cooper on the comeback trail, not known how soon he may be back. And, of course, everybody wishing the best for Cooper, who suffered the injury in the bowl game, I guess, against Wisconsin. But it is uh, comforting to know, KC, that as he's on the comeback trail, Damian Berry, Mike James, and the youngsters, Lamar Miller, Storm Johnson, and even Lee Chambers, who's out with an injury today, provide plenty at the position. It's also nice to know that Willis McGee, he survived that, that catastrophic injury in the Fiesta Bowl against Ohio State and went on to, to be drafted in the first round and, had a, and has had a great NFL career. What used to be a, a career-ending injury is, uh, is now just a season-ending injury, just with the medical technology and also with the, the help of, of great uh, medical staff like, like John Uribe, who's been with the team for, for so many years. Greg Cooper has put up some amazing numbers coming back as a senior out of Memphis, despite many times splitting carries throughout his UM career. Javaris James and Cooper arrived about the same time. Defense showing blitz here, and they came a little bit too early. Free play, and the pass is overthrown, intended for LaRon Bird. But getting back to Greg Cooper, 